Hi everybody, welcome to Broadway Compound Season 2. I'm Christina and I will be your host every Wednesday. It's not going to be every two Wednesdays now, it's going to be every Wednesday, so here I am. So this week's topic is describe or tell the story of a musical in two minutes. Just two minutes. I thought it, this was going to be easy. It's not. Like, I think I picked a very hard musical because it has a whole cast of characters and everyone is connected to each other and everyone's important. So when I was writing my summary, I was like, oh, but this is important too and this is what this character is important too and this happened and then this happened and then this happened and then this song happens. And then I realized that when I read it, it was like five minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you the story of In the Heights. I'm just going to focus on three characters and then I will mention stuff of the other characters when they connect with this three characters' lives. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let's try it, okay? So In the Heights it's about this Latin community living in Washington Heights that they call The Barrio. And our main characters, in my opinion, are Usnavi and Nina. Usnavi wants to go to, back to the, uh, the DR and Nina just dropped out of college and she doesn't know what to do with her life and she doesn't know how to tell her parents that she dropped out. When she finally does, her father is devastated and he feels useless and the only thing that he thinks he can do is sell the taxi company, taxi service company that he has where Benny works. But Benny is Nina's love interest and they have feelings for each other and when Benny her when Benny hears that uh, Kevin her father is selling the company he blames Nina and they have a fight also we have Usnavi and he lives with abuela, uh, abuela Claudia who's not really his abuela and in the bodega he sells lottery tickets and he learns that he sell that he sold a lottery ticket worth of twenty of ninety six thousand dollars um, so they all in the, everyone in the barrio, barrio is dreaming of what we can do with that money. At the same time, he has this, his love interest, Vanessa, who works in the salon and wants to go to live in the West Villa, the West Villa, Village in New York City. They go on a date, and in this date, in this club, shut up, in this club, uh, Benny and Nina have a fight, and the whole party ends when the lights, when the electricity goes down. And, oh my god, it's 30 seconds, oh my god. So, at the end, like, of the first act, Nina and Benny finally kiss, and they spend the night together, and Usnavi learns that Abuela Claudia won the lottery, and they plan to use that money to go back to the Dominican Republic. So, in the second act, they have this huge party called Carnaval de Barrio, and after the party, they learn that Abuela Claudia died, and when they, uh, Usnavi and Nina, are arranging her stuff, she sees some pictures of of her graduation and she decides to take the money of the taxi company that her father sold and she goes back to college or she decides to go back to college oh my god epic fail and I don't think that that made any sense but anyway at the end uh, after she sees the pictures she decides to the pictures she decides to go back to college even though she doesn't know what's gonna happen with Benny and also Zanavi decides to go back to the Dominican Republic until one morning, or the next morning, when he discovers that Sonny, his cousin, commissioned a graffiti guy, or graffiti Pete, to make a mural of Abuela Claudia, and when he finally sees that, he decides he's gonna stay, and he decides that he's gonna pursue uh, Vanessa. And that's it. Oh my god, that was harder than I thought, but I'm not gonna do it again, because I've tried like six times already, and this one is like the closest I got to the, to the time. Two minutes is not enough. I know you said that it was part of the fun. No, no, it's not part of the fun. Anyway, if you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, unsubscribe or subscribe depending on where you're watching this. And let me know in the comments if you have seen In the Heights live because I haven't and I'm dying to and I love the OVC. And if you haven't seen it but you want to, let me know in the comments as well so we can fangirl about it. I'm Christina. I'll be back next Wednesday. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.